Viewer video of an arrest, the end of a wild police pursuit and carjacking investigation. Tonight, an officer injured after a stolen vehicle plows through a blockade in a West End parking garage. Good evening. The officer is expected to recover. His injuries considered minor. Two suspects were also hurt, the stolen vehicle rolling over as they tried to flee. CTV's Mike Walker is live on Eva Road in Etobicoke, where witnesses watched the scene unfold early this morning, Mike. Tenants at this apartment building tell us the sound of the crash jolted them out of bed this morning. The rollover happened in the driveway here where officers were the carjacking task force attempted to box in the suspected stolen vehicle. A suspected stolen BMW SUV rolled over on its side in the driveway of an Etobicoke apartment building after the driver attempted to evade police. We heard a really loud, must have been a crashing sound. I thought the building was coming down. The violent sound of the crash startling people out of bed. When I looked out the window, I heard police and everything. It was, it's devastating. Ran onto the balcony, car was flipped over on the side. The police, there was lots of police present. There must have been about 20 police here. It was around 5.30 this morning when investigators with the Provincial Carjacking Task Force spotted the vehicle and attempted to stop it in the apartment complex on Eva Road near Highway 427. The officers attempted to strategically box the vehicle in order to prevent a pursuit. That's when police say the driver attempted to take off, ran through the blockade of unmarked police vehicles, and then rolled over. Officers pulled the two occupants to safety and subsequently arrested them. This viewer video shows several police officers removing the two suspects from the rolled over vehicle and quickly arresting them. Police pulled them both out, I guess, out of the window or something, because they were both pulled out onto the ground. Debris is scattered across the driveway. Police say in total, four vehicles were damaged during the incident. You can see the damage to these unmarked police vehicles is extensive. The two suspects and one police officer were treated in hospital for minor injuries. But no other members of the public were injured. There are no suspects outstanding. This afternoon, a police tow truck removed the stolen vehicle from the scene. Investigators haven't revealed where it was stolen from or what led them to this apartment complex. Now, police still remain on scene at this hour. At this point, investigators haven't released any information about the two suspects they arrested, and there's also no word on charges. Reporting live, I'm Mike Walker. Michelle, back to you.